Hello lamp fans, looks like winter has arrived in the north. And uh, had a, somebody reached out to my website and uh, asked me how to fix something. And so I thought I would post it. It'd be easier to post it than it is to respond to an email. So we're down in the workshop here. And the question was, is how do I fix this problem here, which is basically a broken or missing collar. Um, what happens is um, when the gasket wears out or uh, doesn't get cleaned or removed, it all seizes and then when you go to pull it, it all pulls off and sometimes it breaks the glass. Uh, this isn't really that bad. I'm not actually gonna fix this. I'm just gonna tell you how to do it. It's, it's a pretty much a no brainer. Um, the lamp in question is a B75 tall ink and drain. Uh, pre-war, so it'd be like this green one here. Um, pre-war, well, pre, pre when the US got into war, not when the Commonwealth did, but any, anyway. So um, this is the cap style that you want to get if you want to keep it original. You can't buy that. Um, they do make one that fits and looks pretty darn close. That's it right there. And 120B. And it's pretty close. It's missing some of the... I don't know if you can really see this one. There's, there's knurling, knurling on it. Um, but this other one is a, is a faithful reproduction. See if I can get one out of the bag with one hand here. Sorry about that. And uh, it's a faithful reproduction. Sits a little taller. Um, and then the same for the thread, the thread pieces, uh, the actual threaded collars. Part number 121. B is for brass. There you go. So, I mean, if you wanted to go that route, that would definitely fix and look respectable. Now, if this was a very expensive lamp, maybe the scallop foot or some higher end one, I would probably go to my, my used collection. Hey dog, and find uh, an appropriate used one with the right knurling, whatever, and, uh, and, and threads too. So sometimes you see a broken lamp, I'll pull the threads off and keep them. Um, I would probably do, if it's an expensive lamp, but if it's just like one of these guys here, I wouldn't be too worried about it. Um, they used some sort of a plaster of Paris and another compound back in the day to do it. And it works really well. And I'm sure you could uh, Google it or talk to one of the other guys. I don't bother doing that. So I use uh, basically a product that's available uh, here just a second. I'll show it to you. So it's basically, you find it at Home Depot, Canadian Tire, OD, fixing a stick. So it's basically a two-part product here. Here it is here. This, I bought this last year and you cut off a half inch section of it and, and it's two parts and you kind of knead it together till it's a uniform color and basically you just kind of put some around it and, and then screw that on so it's tight you don't need a whole lot it does a really good job and people go oh my god what do you have you have to take it apart it's no big deal you can just literally if you want to reverse it you can just take a pair of pliers pull this off and you can chip away at it it's it really does work well uh it but it's a permanent fix you should not have to do it I mean, this lamp here, uh, I don't, I think I used the font on something else. I don't have a use for it. So there's no point in me fixing this yet. But if anybody would want one, I could easily fix this, put an old one on or a new one. And uh, the new caps come with gaskets, um, or I usually make my own. But anyway, so that's how I fix them. And um, it's pretty easy fix. And you can do the same for these metal collars too. They do come off from time to time, especially when the burner seized on. And you just make like a like a worm or a snake and you put it on, squeeze it on, let it sit. And, you know, 12 hours later, it's it's good to go. And I've never had one ever go, ever break. And it's a permanent fix. So anyway, so that's uh, the video, how to fix your your collar. Uh, or at least that's how I do it. Um, you can do it any which way you want, old fashioned way. But my way is the new way and it, it seems to work well. And I've been doing it for about 20 years. So anyway, have yourselves a great day.